Hey guys, it's holiday weekend, you know, and I'm uh, hoping that you're having a great one. And, uh, you know, this weekend is uh, when we celebrate uh, when our country uh, became a nation, the United States of America, in July 4th, 1776. But I want to talk to you first of all about the two flags that you see in the corner of the screen. One is the United States flag, the other is the Christian flag. And, you know, these flags have some things in common. They're both red, white, and blue. But they also stand for other things. The United States flag stands for our country and all the freedoms that we enjoy. The Christian flag stands for Jesus and his kingdom and the eternal life that we can have as we believe in him. Each flag has a pledge that goes along with it. Uh, probably uh, most of you say the Pledge of Allegiance every day when you go to school. But think about the, the words in that Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, allegiance means to be loyal or true. Uh, true to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. The republic is the United States government, a government uh, uh, of the people and by the people and for the people, in which they elect their leaders. It goes on to say, one nation under God, indivisible, which means it cannot be divided, with liberty and justice for all. Liberty is freedom, justice, fairness. So what we're really saying is I promise to be true to the flag of the United States of America and to the government for which it stands, one nation under God which cannot be divided with freedom and fairness to all. But what about the Christian flag? Well, it starts out the same way. I pledge allegiance. I promise to be true is what that say to the Christian flag, to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. We're promising our loyalty to Jesus. He goes on to talk about a brotherhood uniting all mankind, which means Jesus loves us all of every creed, of every color, of every nation, and, that, uh, and where we live. And it means that our goal should be to serve him. And we serve him by loving him and by loving others and by telling others about him. That's what we're really saying as we say this pledge. So if we think about the meanings of, these, uh, uh, of the pledges to each of these flags, it makes them mean so much more to them. I tell you what, where you are right now, why don't you stand with me and let's say the pledge to each one of these flags together. First of all, the pledge to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now let's say the pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one brotherhood uniting all mankind in service and love. He does love you, and I do too. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for our country. I thank you for the freedoms, Lord, that you've provided for us here. But, Lord, I thank you even more so for the freedoms that you provided us through the cross of Calvary. Father, freedom uh, that we can live in you and enjoy, enjoy the goodness of God. And, Father, I pray for each and every child, Lord, that listens to this uh, video, that gets to see it. I pray, Lord Jesus, that each time they say these pledges from here forward, Lord, that they'll realize that these words have meaning, these words have power. And Father, I also hope that they'll realize that there is a good and a great and a loving God and a blessed Savior who loves him so dear. Father, thank you for loving us. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. 